Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Superman and Lois. And no, I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, I really want to check the show out. And in fact, I might even try to watch it tonight or tomorrow. Very excited to hear good things about this show. But of course, we can't have nice things anymore without there being some kind of backlash, some kind of uh, non-troversy. Uh, Superman and Lois is now controversial because people working on the show wanted to race swap Martha and Jonathan Kent. That's right. They wanted to race swap Superman's parents and the CW wouldn't allow it. They're like, nah, they're just a white couple from the Midwest. That's the way it's always been. That's how it's going to be. And now that is, that is outrage worthy. I guess, uh, people very salty about this. Got to give a hat tip to Matt Deckard fact checker and anonymous source uh, for sending this over. This came from Screen Rant, which actually gave the show a good review. Uh, a lot of people saying nice things about this show. Uh, very, very pleased to see the uh, the opening scene where they, they showed him in his Golden Age costume. Uh, of course, putting down a, a green PT Cruiser like the cover of Action Comics number one. Uh, I think it's really cool. And there's even a shout out to, I believe, Superman for all seasons, which is a classic. I love it. I have it in hardcover. Uh, it's a good, it's a good, good Superman story. Very, very Superman. And uh, I, I'm just loving what I'm seeing so far. So I definitely have to find the time to check it out. But of course, we can't have nice things. Uh, not current year. We have to. We have to ruin this somehow. A lot of people were worried the show would be ruined. They thought it would be woke. They thought that uh, Lois would uh, run down Superman, and that uh, she would kind of steal center stage. And, and uh, as I understand it, thus far that has not happened. But his parents, they're white, and they didn't need to be. This is a problem. Coming from Screen Rant, Superman and Lois ignored. Calls for diverse Martha and Jonathan Kent, said the writer. Former, former Superman and Lois writer Nadria Tucker. Nadria Tucker says the show ignored calls for more diverse casting choices, such as those for Martha and Jonathan Kent. Right? We didn't we don't need his parents to be white, which is true. They are his adoptive parents, but you know, they're like, hey, this is this is uh these are the Kents. We've known them for decades. Uh, there's much anticipation surrounding Superman Lois, but a disturbing, a disturbing report emerged only a few weeks into production. Tucker, who has worked on shows like Underground and Krypton, shared on social media that she'd been let go from Superman Lois after calling out sexism and racism in the writer's room. Maybe you were let go because you were a pain in the ass. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Maybe you were let go because you are a colossal pain in the ass complaining about everything. Just a theory. Those at the CW and those on the series haven't commented on Tucker's allegations, which come amid a wave of reckoning for Hollywood in its treatment of people of color. In a new interview with Jonita Davis, Tucker has opened up about what happened in the Superman Lois writer's room. When it came to the casting for the series, Tucker explained how she and others on the staff pushed for actors of color to be cast in supporting roles beyond the villains. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. The best example of a missed opportunity, Tucker said, was Clark's adoptive parents, Jonathan and Martha, Tucker explained. For example, we pushed for diversity in the beginning with some of the castings of Martha and Jonathan Kent because they're Superman's adoptive parents. They can literally be anything in the world. That is not untrue. Um, but you know what? It's their characters and they can go in whichever direction they want to go in. And so we got pushed back on that. They were cast with, I'm sure, some great actors. Martha ended up having to be recast. Again, we pushed for diversity. Again, we're ignored. Stuff like that just adds up. And you see the results on the screen. You see the results on the screen. People love it. Uh, a lot of people love it on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people said this is like the best version of Superman they've seen in years. And this sort of washes away the, the bad taste of the recent comic books. I don't know. I think it looks pretty damn, damn spiffy. And I think I'm going to watch it. Uh, I've heard nothing but good so far. Tucker went on to say she and the other writers of color brought this to the attention of the Superman Lois showrunner, Todd Helbing, and the writers above Tucker. However, 
Nothing appears to have come from their concerns. Superman and Lois has yet to reveal who will be playing Martha and Jonathan, but sounds like they will not be actors of color. This year has seen shows like Riverdale vow to do better promoting diversity and it is disheartening to hear that Superman Lois didn't get the memo. While the series could take some steps now to apply meaningful changes, Tucker's comments from both the interview and her social media show things have not gotten off to a positive start. Had Superman and Lois cast actors of color to play Clark's parents, the show could have broken new ground within the DC world and perhaps could have even provided a new layer to Clark's home life. Unfortunately, Superman and Lois will have to do more to create an inclusive space that Clark himself would be proud of. Can you imagine the pushback if, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, like you can't do anything right current year. Hypothetically speaking, what if Clark Kent came from two gay black dads? Would it be problematic that uh, uh, Clark Kent is the, the white boy next door with Lois Lane? He's the good guy. He's the protagonist. And uh, he doesn't constantly go on about social issues. I, I don't know. I, I mean, there, there would be problems. Somebody would find that problematic. They absolutely would. It would be wrong for Superman to come from that household for some reason. You know, um, but as to Tucker, they got fired because you're probably a pain in the ass. I don't think anybody current year is going to fire somebody for suggesting that, hey, maybe we need to have more diverse casting. That's a buzzword in Hollywood. I don't think anybody is going to get fired for that. If you're a colossal pain in the ass and making threats, you're probably going to get fired. So I think there's probably more to this story, but I love it. I love it. We can't, we can't have nice things. We can't have nice things without there being some non-traversy around it. Uh, and again, this is a disgruntled former employee uh, who's very unhappy with the direction of the show and the fact that they're, they're out of the picture, I guess. But uh, look at this glorious image right here. This, this, is, this is, looks pretty sweet. I think I'm going to check it out for sure. Uh, and I'm going to wrap this up because I can't really talk about the show much because I, ha I haven't seen it. But now I really want to see it. So I'm going to go watch it. I'm going to go watch Superman Lois. Uh, one of the few CW shows I have any interest in watching. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later.